Hello everybody, it's May the 26th today which is a beautiful sunny day here in South London and today I'm going to read you a sonnet by an obscure little writer some of you may have heard of called William Shakespeare. Now it's actually, of course I'm being facetious, it's high time I read a Shakespearean sonnet on this channel. I have read one of my own sonnets which is about Shakespeare but I have not yet read a Shakespearean sonnet. So, uh, given it's May and the weather's beautiful, I'm going to jump right in there with sonnet number 18. Now, the other reason I've picked out this particular sonnet is that my lady friend and I have recently been watching the classic television series, The Darling Buds of May. And uh, The Darling Buds of May is, of course, the title of the uh, series of novellas and the TV show. Was uh, It was taken from sonnet number 18. And there's a lovely scene in the very first episode when this character, this guy called Charlie, young man called Charlie, he falls asleep drunk on a billiard table, um, having recently sort of figured out that he's in love with a very, very young Catherine Zeta-Jones. And he murmurs the, the lines to this poem um, to himself as he falls into a besotted slumber. It's a, it's a rather beautiful, rather beautiful moment, I thought, and it just reminded me get your sonnets out and start reading them on this channel. Also, like if you haven't seen this series before, it's very easy to pass it off as a sort of trite, twee, fluffy TV series, but I, I do recommend it, it's great. Um, I think there's a very strong libertarian subtext to it, and uh, my lady and I, being of a libertarian persuasion, we're really quite enjoying that element to it, that uh, the, the, the family of protagonists, the Larkins, seem to get an awful lot of joy in life from mocking authority and, uh, and you know, taking the piss out of bureaucrats and dodging the tax man and stuff like that. So it's, it's a great show. Uh, do go and watch it. I recommend it. And I recommend the sonnets of this peculiar little poet that you may not have heard of called William Shakespeare. This is his 18th one. Check it out. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, And summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, And often is his gold complexion dimmed, And every fair from fair sometime declines By chance or nature's changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death brag thou wandered in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou owest. So long as men can breathe, or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee.